Another functionality or usage of the decoders is to use them to implement any function. Now we will look at how to implement any function using decoders. Just like we use multiplexers to implement any functions, we can also use decoders with some additional gates to implement any function. So let's do some examples and then we will see how this is done. Let's say I am given a function three variables a b c and then i have zero two six and seven here so we need to implement this function using three to eight decoder and one or gate so let's draw our three to eight decoder so we have three inputs and we have eight outputs so this is output zero one two three four five six and seven. right so basically what we need to do we need to connect our variables let's say this is i2 i1 and i0 of the decoder so i will be putting a here b here and then c here and then what we have we have in term 0 in term 2 in term 6 and in term 7 right so if a b c is all of them is 0 i will be getting this min term 0 so this is my min term 0 also it is min term 0 or min term 2 min term 6 or min term 7 so these are the my min terms in my functions so based on this abc i am interested in the cases of these four output so what is f actually so this is m0 or m2 or m6 or m7 right okay. so basically i will be getting this m0 m2 m6 and m7 i will be ordering them and this will give me my function f a b c so basically this function is implemented using this 3 to 8 decoder and then one or gate so if a b c is let's say 110 and i will be selecting m6 so this m6 is activated but these are 0 0 0 but my output will be 1 because my m6 is 1 right so this is how and function is implemented using decoders okay so we are only interested in the ones where my function is one so we are not using these outputs so this is the way to implement functions using decoders let's do another example so we have this a1 a0 and b1 b0 as an input we need to implement it using 4 to 16 decoders so let's draw our decoder so in this case we will have 16 outputs and we have this four inputs let's say this is a1 a0 b1 b0 so let's say this is my i0 i1 i2 and i3 this is 4 to 16 decoder so what we need to do we will have an or gate here right so this will be my function f a is equal to b but i need to know which decoder outputs i will be taking so where is a is equal to b so this is a1 a0 b1 b0 0 0 0 0, 0 right so this is one case my f is 1 so this is m0 so i will be taking this m0 and connect it to here another case where a is equal to b so this is 0 1 0 1 so this is output is 1 but this is my m5 so this is output 5 so i will be also taking this another case is one zero one zero my output is one so this is min third 10 so this is output 10 so i will be taking it to here and the last case is one 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 and my output is one this is my m15 so this is an example where i implement a two-bit comparator two-bit equality circuit using 4 to 16 decoders okay let's see decoders with enable so we can implement our decoders with enable signal right so if i don't enable my decoders it will not work so let's see a two to four example so i have two inputs i1 i0 and let's say i have enable signal here so this is my enable and i have four outputs so this is two to for decoder so let's write the functionality table for this decoder with enable so i have an enable signal here and my inputs and i have my outputs here so if my enable is zero i don't care what is my inputs okay and all of my outputs will be zero so this is not a don't care case okay if i don't use x's i need to write 
four different cases. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So all 0. But instead of writing these four lines to make it shorter, I am just saying I don't care about my inputs because my outputs doesn't depend on my inputs. So don't forget this is actually four line. But we are writing it in a shorter way. If the enable is 1, then it is important for me what is my input. It, it could be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, right? So in this case, if my inputs are 0, 0, I will be selecting output to be 1. If my input is 0, 1, I will be selecting out 1. If my input is 1, 0, I will be selecting out 2. If my inputs are 1, 1, I will be selecting out 3. Okay, so this is the functionality table. So how do I implement this? Basically, I will have four AND gates here. And this will be my output 0, output 1, output 2, output 3. So this will have I0 not, I1 not. And I will have I0, I1 not. So I will have I0 not, I1 here. And I will have I0 and I1. But this AND gate is controlled by an enable signal. And I will have an enable here, which controls all these AND gates, right? If the enable is 0, then I will have all of my outputs to be 0. If enable is 1, it will operate just regular decoder.